Hello, everybody. Welcome to The Political Vigilante. My name is Graham Elwood. I'm here uh, in this glamorous uh, <laughs> a little apartment in Chicago. I'm doing shows here uh, at the Zanies. There's a nice fridge. We've got it outstanding. There you go. There's the whole setup. It's, it's fantastic. Um, thank you to everybody that came out to the, she's been coming out to the shows. I've got more shows this week. Um, the 25th through, the 25th and 26th, I'm at the Zanies in downtown and the 27th through March 2nd, I'm at the Zanies out in Rosemont. Get the tickets are at GrahamElwood.com. And of course, Progressive Comedy Tour, uh, is coming to the Gulf States in March, March 10th through the 13th. We're going to... Oxford, Mississippi, Lafayette, Louisiana, Pensacola, Florida, and New Orleans. So please check that out. We've added more tour dates to the East Coast. We've added Philadelphia. We've got Baltimore, New Haven, Connecticut, D.C., Boston, New York City. Um, and of course, April, we're going to Texas. And May, we're going to Salt Lake City and Boise. So uh, go to GrahamElwood.com. So I want to first talk about, I'm sure many of you have seen this already, the Diane Feinstein video where she is condescending to children who uh, <laughs> don't want to live in, a, uh, in, in an apocalypse of climate collapse. So here's Diane Feinstein, uh, a rich white lady, talking down to kids. Can I go in and share this letter? And we're going to do it all together. Yeah. Share it in front of Feinstein. We're asking her to vote yes on the Green New Deal. We are trying to ask you to vote yes on the Green New Deal. Oh, please. Okay, I'll tell you what. We have our own Green New Deal. Some scientists have said that we have 12 years to turn this around. Well, it's not going to get turned around in 10 years. What we can do is Senator, if this doesn't get turned around in 10 years, you're looking at the faces of the people who are going to be living with these consequences. The government is supposed to be for the people and by the people and all for the people. You know what's interesting about this group is I've been doing this for 30 years. I know what I'm doing. You come in here and you say it has to be my way or the highway. I don't respond to that. I've gotten elected. I just ran. I was elected by almost a million vote plurality. And I know what I'm doing. So, you know, maybe people should listen a little bit. I hear what you're saying, but we're the people who voted you. You're supposed to listen to us. That's your job. How old are you? Jobs. How old I'm are 16. You? I well, can't you didn't vote. vote for me. Well, she, I'm she voted. It doesn't matter. We're the ones well, who are going to be impacted. It doesn't matter. We're going to be, well, be the ones who are impacted. I understand that. I have seven grandchildren. I understand it very well. Senator, the cost of and not taking this action is far higher than the cost of what the Green New Deal will be. And Here's there is what, enormous popularity for this bill around okay. the whole country. Here's and we're asking you to be brave proposing. and do this for us and, and for your grandchildren. Sure. Get enough for okay. I'm trying to do the best I can, which was to write a responsible resolution. Any plan that, that doesn't take bold, okay. transformative okay. action is not going to be what we need. We well, need your you know better than I do. So I think one you day you should run for the Senate. Great. And then you do it your you, way. But by that time, you. in the meantime, by that time, there's gonna I be just, a big problem. I just we won a, a big election. You. Okay, that's so offensive to me how she talks. Now there's a longer version, and some people are on the internet saying, well, this is an edit hit job, where she starts to say she starts to backpedal a little bit and go, well, I'll listen and whatever. But it's like, you see who she really is. I don't respond to my way or the highway. Me. Like, unbelievable. Unbelievable to me. Here's a bunch of young girls, primarily girls, who are like being active in democracy. They're not being they're not being violent or rude. They're just like Senator Feinstein, we want you to do our Green New Deal. And she just goes, I don't respond to that. And then the mom goes, In 20 years, these kids are gonna have the mom is concerned, right? But you see Diane Feinstein's first, her gut reaction is shut up. I know what I'm doing. There's two reasons she doesn't give a shit what those little kids say. One, they're not registered voters. But more importantly, even if they were, she gets her marching orders from the corporations. Okay? So it's so offensive 
This is the Democratic Party. This is battle-tested Dianne Feinstein, who just wants to sit there and for 30 years, I've done a bunch of incremental bullshit centrism that doesn't really help. Just kick this little political football back and forth. Well, we don't have time. We don't have time. That's what these kids are saying. So let, let's, let, and how, do, how did, so that happened like Friday. So then Sunday on Meet the Press, they showed that same clip that I, you guys just watched. And then this is their take on it, which is more mind numbing, except for this one woman that really speaks up and finally says something. So watch this clip from the good people at the uh, CIA backed NBC. I think a lot of people look at a lot of that, Andrea, and think, um, boy, she could have been more, uh, less tone deaf in how to talk to the kids. And who are the adults that are using kids to, to practice politics? It was, the whole thing was uncomfortable. Very uncomfortable. And let me just say, I think, first of all, she is a leader on this subject. So why didn't they go after someone who's against climate change? She has legislation. She's saying, I don't want to sign on to the new Green Deal because it's aspirational. It's not legislation. I'm working on something that's real. Also, who are the adults who bring their kids who don't understand this stuff? Seven, eight, nine, ten year olds. I understand the passion of children and how important it is. But to ambush a senator this way, and again, her political skills you know, were lacking in terms of the way social media conveyed this. But I just think, go after the critics. She has been you know, stalwart on guns, on climate change, on all these other issues. And it just shows you the perils of social media and uh, also I don't, I really don't understand this type of activism. So I think this is a great topic for us to be talking about. Um, first of all, those children in the Sunrise Movement, as it's called, which was started by young people, are sleeping outside of Mitch McConnell's office. So it's often, why are we attacking Democrats is, is the, is the, um, is what people say, but they're also absolutely... The 80-20, you're 80% with, but 100%, 20% against... Exactly. And but they, most they don't post they videos, don't have, though. They, they haven't don't, posted videos outside McConnell. They, they actually have, but they just haven't gone viral. So one of the things that I think is so important about this is that it's a difference of urgency. For someone who's seven years old, we just sat here talking about the Clinton impeachment like it was yesterday. At that time, 20 years from now in the future, we will have all coral reefs gone in this country. It's something that I think most people who are thinking about their children right now, I'm sorry I'm getting emotional, but Dianne Feinstein has been great and she has been in office and not had the urgency that is required. This is an emergency in this country. It's an emergency on this planet. There's no higher responsibility of anyone who has any kind of political power right now than to try to stop a global catastrophe that's not happening in three generations. It's I, happening look, I agree look, with you, though, sure. but Heather, she's got legislation she's working it's on. It's not going to solve the problem. Look, I don't, I don't, I don't even get Is the new even Green get Deal going to Absolutely. solve the problem? It, the, the entire actual policy platform, if you look at no, the I think tanks that I have agree gone with the it. hopes behind it, no. but don't you have to work on There's, the bill? It's not a question of hopes. It's a question of is there going to be a reality for our children and their children's children? We can't say it's too aspirational. It's the planet. What you're seeing, though, I mean, this is the pull of the 2020 Democratic primary process. I mean, this is sure. where it's headed. The challenge is you've got so many people playing in this lane, in this lane around this Green New Deal that have endorsed it, that have said this is their policy preference. That's a very crowded lane in a 15-person field. And if you think about differentiation, because when you've got a 15-person field, you've got to think about your lane. There are an awful lot of lanes here, just the pure politics of this, not necessarily what, what might might be the right policy. The, the pure politics of the, 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 the well, it's, it, 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 it. <laughs> first of all, Chuck Todd just sets the table showing you this is what the who are these parents? Wow. So instead of saying this is this is the corporate military, you know, the the corporate media is a is a is an arm of the military industrial complex's propaganda arm. So there's no two ways about it. And you saw it. Instead of saying, can you imagine if these girls went to a white Republican male like Mitch McConnell and he dismissed them? People would be like, oh, the, how dare they say that? And people on the right wing would say, oh, you know, these kids shouldn't be protesting. And, and, and these so-called liberals would be like, 
they're engaging in democracy. But when you call out the corporate Democrats, when you out left the centrist Democrats, so a centrist Democrat is basically what the Republican Party used to be. <laughs> they're just pro-choice Republicans from like 30 years ago. Now the Republican Party is just way out to lunch on the right. So unbelievable. And they go after the parents. Who are these parents pushing their kids in there? Wow. So this is supposedly liberal MSNBC, which is not liberal. It is a corporate, it, it has CIA analysts on there. Um, it pushes the war machine, I mean, all the time. Why weren't, what they should have been saying was, wow, let's, it's, isn't it great to see these young kids getting involved in the democratic process? And you know what? Showing up at a lawmaker's office saying, we want you to take this seriously is part of the democratic pr process. But no, we sh who are these parents? Yeah, I don't know. The parents of those, those young guys that did the Boston Tea Party who polluted, they threw, they wasted good tea in the Boston Harbor. Where were their parents? Where were their parents? That's what they're saying. It's so preposterous to me. Boy, these parents, they should be celebrating. Wow. Because that's the other thing. I guarantee you there's clips. I don't have time to find them. But I guarantee you Andrea Martin and Chuck Dodd and those other assholes are like, oh, I'm sure have these, these kids today. All they do are on their phones playing Snapchat and video games. They don't pay attention to anything. Oh, no, here they are. The Sunrise Movement was, was founded by kids. And I'm so glad that other woman said, no, they actually go to Mitch McConnell's office, Andrea Martin, because there's no videos of it. No, they just haven't gone viral. Mitch McConnell, I'm not a fan of at all. And I'm sure he isn't so blatant. I'm sure he was just like, oh, thank you, girls. We'll talk about it and we'll give this due diligence. And probably just gave them lip service and patted them on the head and gave them some, you know, candy with the Capitol building on it. Diane Feinstein just, I'm arrogant. I'm a rich white lady. I can do whatever the hell I want. And then... Thank God that woman on the panel was like, we, there's, there's an urgency here because let's, let's, let's be real clear. Dianne Feinstein and Andrea Martin are going to be dead in 20 years. Dead. And in 20 years, as that woman said, the coral reefs are going to be done. Uh, I've shown you from the NOAA.gov, which is a, a federal organization. They, a governmental organization, has shown what the shorelines, there's an interactive map. You can go there and see what the shorelines are going to be doing in 20 years. There's gonna be mass flooding. And primarily on the Eastern seaboard, the East Coast of the United States has a third of the population. That's 100 million people. It'll be even more than that in 2040. Where are they gonna go? So these, these young kids that are seven and 10 years old, they're gonna be in their 20s and 30s. You know, People in your 30s and younger, you're going to be in your 40s and 50s watching this nightmare. I'm in my late 40s. I'm going to be near 70. It's going to be awful. These kids have to live in this world. And, they don't, and Andrea Martin is just so bewildered. Oh, these kids today. Oh, wait, I thought we wanted the democratic process. If Mitch McConnell talked to these young kids about that, about gun control the left would be up in arms, but we don't have a real left. And the Green New Deal is not realistic. Boy, that's bold leadership. Can you imagine if FDR did that? Look, guys, the, the New Deal, I mean, the, the, it's, it's I kill, I'll never get this through Congress. I'll never be able to get this through Congress. It's too much, we can't do this. The country, half the country's out of work because of the Great Depression. I, I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Can you imagine that type of leadership? John F. Kennedy, did he say, I'd like to put a man on the moon, but it's just going to be too hard. I don't think we'll be able to do it. I'll try, but the, the, the Republicans in Congress will stop me. Wow, bold. Bold leadership, Democrats. So this is how corporate Democrats, what they don't, they don't, and this is what it's going to take. I mean, if those, you know, you, and if you think, if those kids would have gotten really mad, which they have a right to do, Diane Feinstein would have had security throw these little girls out there. No problem. That's the ruling class, guys. 
these young parents who are terrified. I don't have kids. I have six nieces and nephews. I'm terrified about the world they're going to live in. I'm terrified about it. We need to act like there's a meteor coming towards the planet. If we don't have time for the Feinsteins and the Chuck Todds and the Andrea Martins incremental bullshit corporate centrism. They want to spend all day screaming about Russia and Trump. We don't have time for that. Bold leadership. Green New Deal. We have our own Green New Deal. Yeah, yours is going to have bullshit 10, 20 year plans that we don't have time for. Diane Feinstein doesn't give a shit. She's a millionaire. She doesn't care. Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, they're millionaires. They're in their 60s and 70s. They don't care. They're going to be dead and they're going to have a nice, beautiful funeral on their yachts. They don't give a shit. So they can just shun kids. Wake up. I applaud the Sunrise Movement. I applaud these children and I applaud the, the parents for backing them up. We always bitch all these kids. They just sit around with their avocado toast and video games. Let them get in, let them get involved. If I had kids and they said, "Hey, you know," and I let them know about this information, the plant, the, this is what happened to the planet, and they said, "Well, I want to get involved. What do we do?" I'd back them all the way. What kind of parent are you if you don't encourage your child to participate in democracy and exercise their freedom of speech? They don't have the right to vote. What more can they do? Thanks for watching. Um, yeah, support the patreon.com so we can show this out there. Call out. That's why you guys are getting your news on YouTube. You don't, you can't, watching Meet the Press is just, is, is, is painfully mind numbing. So thanks for supporting the show. Like, subscribe, watch the ads all the way through. When you click skip ad, I do not get paid. Share these videos, get the word out, and get active in your own community. Thank you so much.